hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video let's discuss about a dbt documentation so right now uh, we have uh, built many models right uh, in in the models directory so why we need documentation uh, because um, so first let's understand what is exactly the documentation in dbt so uh, in simple terms uh, you can see it's like a user manual for your data models uh, it helps you and your team understand what each model does uh, the purpose the purpose of specific columns and any other relevant information with respect to your models itself right so um, so we need to generate this documentation in your project so once you generate the documentation so you can just share this with your team members so that they'll understand uh, so what are different models you have uh, the lineage graphs right uh, and the relationships and even you can just check the description about those models right so this is how the uh, uh, dbt documentation looks okay so we're going to generate this and then i'll explain more about the documentation fine so now let's generate the documentation uh, for our project so before uh, 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 entering the uh, command over here okay so let's just check the connection so i'll just do dbt debug uh, just to verify the connection if i am uh, able to connect to my uh, destination Yes, so all the checks passed and uh, the command to execute uh, to generate the documentation is dbt docs generate. Okay, so this will generate the documentation. Okay, so let's see like as soon as I give dbt docs generate hit enter. So it should create a documentation. So it will take some time. Okay. You can see it's building a catalog. Yes, so catalog is returned to this particular path. Okay, so let me open this path and uh, check my documentation. Okay, so if I open the path, that is dbt jan. So we have dbt jan pro, then we have target and catalog, right? So let me go to that particular path. So right now I'm in dbt jan, dbt jan pro, uh, target, and inside the target we have this catalog. Uh, this is catalog, right? compiled yeah we have a catalog build over here so let's me verify once again so it's target and catalog.json fine so let me open the file so if i just try to open this index.html okay so you, we are getting error so let's solve this error so this page said dbt docs was unable to load the manifest file uh okay so let me click okay and let's solve this problem okay so uh, even if you're getting the same error right uh so what i suggest is you can just uh click on okay uh okay so this is a frequent error because of some port issues okay so what uh, what instead you can do is go to your vs code and from here just type a uh, dbt docs uh, serve okay and you can just specifically mention the port okay so let me mention the port as 8001 and hit enter okay we got it so first we have generated the docs then we are asking to serve it okay uh, so here basically what this command does it starts a web server on the port whatever we have mentioned so by default uses 8080 but in case if you are working with other ports like airflow or any other uh, uh, application which is running on the specific port like for example 8080 which is a default port then it will throw error okay so it is better way to use the dbt doc serve command to specifically tell which uh, port uh, you want to open this particular um, uh, web server okay so right now i have opened the docs okay and just check okay so now let's explore this uh, documentation fine uh, so now uh, so as soon as you open the docs right so this is how it looks let's see yeah fine so right now so if i go to my vs code okay so in the vs code this is how my project structure looks right so let me close all the files over here close yes so here so we have a models right so inside the models we have built a marts that is dim customers as well as fact orders 
and we have a staging and inside the staging we have a joyful shop schema and we have a stripe schema so inside the joyful shop so we have a stage customers as well as stage orders and we have source as well as the uh, source files right as well as we have the models uh, to uh, perform the test on my uh, specific models right uh, next we have a stripe in the stripe we have even a source uh, as well as a staging right uh, so and apart from this even we have performed the test also that is we have performed uh, one of the singular test uh, like uh, adding uh, a test on the payments uh, payments table all right uh, so we, we just wanted to check the assertion like whatever the total amount it has to be greater than zero okay so if you are following along the code this is what we have done so far okay so now let me go to my doc generate now okay so whatever the documentation right now has been generated uh, by a uh, dbt project okay with the command dbt doc generate so here you can see the overview right so inside the overview we have a project structure and we have a database structure okay so if i just click on the database structure so here uh, we have a raw as well as uh, sorry so if i go to the database and inside the database we have uh, tables called raw and we have uh, other tables called raw okay so here uh, so let me go and check so if we have a raw so where is my raw so if this is my snowflake and we have only one uh, database here specifically is connected to raw right because right now we are working in the same database called raw okay and uh, if i go to my docs generate okay so we have a raw inside the raw we have a jaffle shop and here also we have a jaffle shop okay and uh, so inside the Jaffel shop we have many models right so we have dim customers fact orders okay uh, my first dbt models my second dbt model my stage customers stage orders as well as stage payments okay and so this small raw basically is representing my uh, initial uh, uh, raw data right because so whatever the data which I've just loaded with, right? So we have a customer's data and we have orders data and we have a payments, okay? This is my uh, raw data, right? So when I started working with Snowflake, I created a table and I, I inserted all the records in this, right? Customers, orders, as well as payments. And when I build a models on this particular data sets, right? So we had a dim customers, we have fact orders, and we have first dbt model my second dbt model stage customer stage order stage payments okay so all this model that's what i have created right so in the different folders you can see this is what the models i have created in total and in the docs you can see the same thing so this is basically referring to uh, whatever the models i have built inside the jaffel shop so why only jaffel shop because uh, I have been working in the single database here, sorry, uh, uh, single database as well as single schema. Okay, but it's not a good practice. Later, we'll see how we can change that, uh, push that into uh, my uh, production. So I can just keep all my uh, raw models into separate schema and all the production uh, the based models into a different schema. Okay, so we can do that. So we'll be doing that later. Fine. Uh, so this is all about the database structure and if I click on to any one of this for example So I'll go to my draw uh, that is which is written in the small um, uh, Lower case and if I click on customers. I'll be getting all the information with respect to the customers, right? So jaffle shop dot customers This is what the schema name and we have a customers and we have a details about this So right now I'm seeing the details then we have a descriptions. Okay, so description so then we have columns then uh, we have something called referenced by and we have something called sql okay so if we go to details so here uh, so right now i have not added any details here okay so right now it's untagged okay let's see how we can just add that those details in my um, vs code and my in my dbt project okay we'll do that fine so right now the details is empty okay even the description is also empty okay if we click on descriptions or check it here right so right now the description is empty and we have a columns in this uh, customers right so we have id first name last name and even the type you can just check that there is numbers and text text format okay and even we don't have any description for this also fine and the referenced by okay so you can see the the model which has built based on this particular table is stage customer that's what you can see here right so it is stage customers and even you can see the code also so the code which is um, used to build this particular table that is select id first name last name and this is what the path is raw database Jaffel shop as well as customers fine similarly if i go to my orders so same information you can just check we have details description columns referenced by okay so referenced by is important you can just check which models is basically referring this particular table right and you know, of course the sql uh whatever the sql we have returned to create this table similarly for the payments right so i hope now you're familiar with like what is details what is description and what is columns and what is sql correct 
Okay, so now let me go to my the model which I've built. Okay, so let's start with a stage customers. So if I click on stage customers, again, we have a details here and we have like a taxes. Uh, uh, we don't have any tax for this. And who is the account owner? Uh, uh, account, of course, this account admin is coming from my Snowflake, right? So that's what the configuration have set uh, say in the profiles.ml file, right? And the type by default is build as view and the package. So right now I'm inside this particular project that is dbt jan pro, right? So if I go to my VS code and open my dbt project.ml file, this is what the package is dbt uh, jan pro, right? And going forward, even we'll install the packages, okay, from the dbt. Basically, package is something which you are installing the project itself, right? So right now the name has been given to this is package, okay? So this is what the package name dbt jan pro and uh, so next we have a language which is used that is sql and you can see the relationship okay uh, so the path basically and the access right now it's protected okay uh, so next we have a contract it's not enforced we'll be learning this okay as as we proceed into the uh, future projects okay so right now description is empty okay so we have all the columns again like customer id uh, first name last name and more important you can see the referenced by so we have models as well as test okay so you can see this we have one model dim customer okay this stage customers is being referred to the dim customers basically what does it mean so in the dim customers we are using the stage customer that's what right so if i click on dim customers uh, and see this code over here right so we are referring to the stage customers correct Okay, that's what it's basically telling. Okay, let me click on stage customers. And if I go to my columns, uh, yes, so we have dim uh, customers and the test associated with this. Okay, so in the previous video, we have seen how to perform the test on the models itself, right? So we have added a unique a test for this as well as not null test for this, right? Uh, see, this interface is very uh, clean and neat, right? So instead of if you want to present it or if you want to send, um, uh, the, uh, I mean, like the entire DBT project to your teammates and you want to give a presentation, this is a very good web UI where you can just basically uh, uh, showcase and it is very clean and you can just basically tell like what is the code and what is the referenced uh, and later we'll see the lineage graph also okay so it, it takes very clean right so instead of directly getting to your vs code and explaining what is this model all about so you can just generate the docs for this and and pr present it to your team members right okay so let me continue so next we have a depends okay so uh, right now it depends on the customers right this stage comes customers is coming from my customers why if i go to my code you can see the source right so right now the source is referring to this particular uh, uh customers okay so if you're following along so i hope you're getting the uh i hope you're able to connect it okay so whatever we have built so far right uh so referenced by okay uh we have seen the depends also and finally the code okay so the code which we have used it and even see the compiled version okay and this is what the actual code is okay with customers you can see i'm using a source function here to refer uh, to this uh, Jaffel shop as well as the customers table. But if you go to the compiled version, you can see like how it has been replaced it, right? So this is how um, the beauty about dbt docs. Okay, so similarly for the stage orders. Okay, so here also you have all the information. So I don't want to repeat, but yes. So if you understood the one uh, model, okay, similarly, you can find all the description. I mean, like the basic details about the other models as well. Similarly, we have stage payments. So inside the stage payments, if I go to the columns, this is what the columns is and you can check the referenced by okay so here also we had one model which is being referred and as well as test right so we have performed one singular test called asset positive total for this right so if you click on to this it will redirect and you can just check what is the code all about right so you can just recall the details and uh, you can see the compiled version right so here also we are using ref function you can see and even you can see the compiled version how it is being checked right so this is all about the staging models. So then even we have built called dim customer. This was the first model which we build. And of course, like here you can see the depends on, depends on two models. One is the fact orders, one is the stage customers. Uh, and you can see the entire code over here, right? Uh, and you can see the compiled form, okay? So in the compiled form, uh, so all the functions has been replaced with actual SQL code, okay? So you can see this is how it's being uh, re uh, compiled uh, from the source code. Okay, next similarly fact orders. Okay, so we have all the information and here also we have depends on. Okay, so it depends on these two things and we don't have any test for this. But if you go to dim customers, uh, so in the dim customers, even we don't have any test for this, fine. So even in the fact orders, you can see the compiled uh, code. So this is source and this is compiled, fine. 
and you can just copy the code you can see clip to the clipboard and you can just share it with your team members or you want to just create a models okay once again or you rewrite on modification you can just do that fine so this is all about the databases so in the databases you can check all the details fine so now if i go to my project level so here you can see the entire project okay so you can refer two major section one is sources and one is the projects so in my entire projects we have a jaffle shop source as well as stage payment source the jaffle shop source we have created two source one is the customer source okay and one is the order source okay as well as in stage payments we have created payments right so this is what the sources what is sources that's what we have defined in the ml file right so inside this ml file so i have defined what is the source name as well as the database it's referring to right similarly for the uh, stay, uh for the payments as well right so this is what the sources have defined so same information you can just check under the source section and apart from this you have the entire project structure this is my project name and inside this particular project uh, so we have models right and we have tests and inside the models we have example folder we have marts folder and we have orders sorry core inside the marts right and we have a staging and inside the staging we have two schemas staple shop and the stripe okay and we have a one test fine this is what the test is so this is what the structure you can see inside the project directory fine and here also if you click on to any one of this right for example if i go to my marts and uh, dim customers so same information you can just check it over here like whatever we saw in the database structure fine and apart from this okay so this is my home tab and this is a home tab okay and apart from this can you see this icon right so if i click on to this lineage graph okay so you can see like the entire project and its dependencies right so uh, here we have uh, so here the first of all i just explain like what is this green is referring to so green is basically referring to my uh, sources right and this is my jaffle shop orders and this is my stage payments and this is my jaffle shop customers and whatever you can see here is basically representing my sources fine and uh, so how i can just read this so if, for example if i click on to this my second dbt model you can see it got highlighted right so this my second dbt is depends on my first dbt model so as soon as i click on a fact orders okay you can see some uh, the purple color right so which is being highlighted so it means that so this fact orders depends on the two models one is the stage orders as well as stage payments okay and uh, so you can see there is no dependency on this sources right now okay so and you can see stage orders depends on the stage um jaffle shop orders right and uh, so if i click on to this dim customers you can see all the models which are associated with the dim customer this is my dimensional table and this is my fact actual fact table okay anyone whatever you're clicking onto this you can see the dependencies here right and uh, so this is the lineage graph okay and here we'll explore more about the lineage graph okay so even you can see like we can play with this lineage graph like if i want to see only the models okay right now we selected all if i want to see only models you can see if i want to see seats right now we have not discussed yes we can see the seats we can see the snapshots we can see only sources can you see only sources has been highlighted if i just remove the models yeah this is what the only sources and you can see the only test in your project this is what the test is all about okay uh, as we have analysis okay so this is not be discussed right now we don't have any analysis in my project okay so this is how you can just play with these parameters okay so we'll learn more about tags how you can just write a queries here right how to exclude how to play with this uh, graph okay so we'll be learning more about this in our upcoming videos so i hope uh, you know how to create a uh, documentation with the command called dbt docs generate and uh, so al and the alternative commands once you generate is to open the uh, docs we can use a command called dbt docs serve hyphen hyphen port and you can use any port name so in our project we have used 8001 and uh, so i hope you know how to read your entire project as well right and whatever and even you know how to open the lineage graph and check the dependencies of all your models test and uh, if you have any seeds analysis you can just check from the lineage graph okay so this is all about the documentation okay so now let's assume like i want to add some of the description for my uh, models right so if i go to my database right now i have my stage customers as well as uh stage orders okay let's go and add some of the description over here right so to if i want to update uh my docs okay so what i can do is 
So right now we have the source dot jml uh, jaffel shop right so dot ml file. So here you can add those parameters. Okay. So inside below the database we have something called description. Okay. So this parameter will be reflected in our uh, docs. Okay. So description. So I can say this is clone of a Postgres uh, application database. Okay, and here also we can just add uh, for the tables as well. Okay, for the table description. So here we have only the customers, right? So here I can just write a description. Okay, so inside the description I can write raw customer data. Okay, so let me do control yes. And similarly, if I want to add for the columns as well, okay. Let me go to stage models. Okay, so here also you can add. So for example, if I want to add for any of the columns, okay. Uh, like uh, we have ID here, right? So here also you can add the description. Okay, so this way you can just update it. Like let's let's uh, see the difference. Okay, let me do control yes, and let's run now once again. Okay, so to exit from the docs, I'll just write control C. Okay, and let me do docs generate. Okay, so fail to connect. Okay, so what happened? DBD debug. Mm, incorrect username and password no it's it's the same user and password i don't know what happened let me just check okay let me delete this and let me open the terminal once again Okay, let me just fix this. I think there is some issue. But yeah, if you just try to rerun the DVT docs generate, it should reflect. Okay, so let me fix this and get back. Uh, let me get back. Okay. Okay, so there was, uh, I've just updated my profiles.ml file. So there was some wrong password. Okay, let me do DVT debug once again. Yes, so everything is set. So now let me do DVT. Uh, so let me save this once if I have whatever the changes I have made. Uh, dbt docs generate. Okay, so now dbt docs serve. Uh, port 8001. Uh, so this is my sources, Jaffel shop. Uh, yeah, you can see the description here, right? So clone of 
Postgres uh, application database and what I've still updated. Uh, so I have even updated uh, inside the sources, even updated for the customers, right? So it's a raw customer data. So if I just go here, so this is my customers and you can see description raw customer data okay so this is how you can just add the details as well okay so you can just check the docs how you can just add the details and how you can add the columns even in the add the columns uh, you can just go and add the description below the columns okay so it will work fine fine so this is how you update the documentation like if you want to add more description and more info you can just uh, update those in your dbt project fine so this is all about the documentation uh, see you in the next video